So who was the greatest scientist activist? Who is the role model that we should, or role models that you look to and we should be looking to in the science community to inspire this kind of activism? Well, the role models are, are people like ourselves. I think if we take the time, we look for the opportunities, and as scientists, engineers, technologists, there are opportunities there. Maybe not in North Korea, but maybe other places in the developing world. Maybe in Latin America. There's a tremendous interest in science in Mexico, with few ac opportunities to do laboratory research as we, we think about it. So I think those of us, particularly those of us who reached that point in life where we're tenured, right. they can't kick us out, Right. Maybe we could take on some of these extra duties. Why do scientists, we got a question, shy away from the public arena? Do you think they're just inherently uncomfortable because of their path to get to be a science or a physician? Or what is it about them that makes them uncomfortable? Well, I, I'm not sure scientists are so uncomfortable, but they're selected for other talents, right. for seeing the, the unseen. Those who are pretty successful oftentimes tend to be good communicators, though. So I, I wouldn't just miss all scientists as being poor communicators. Good. It's something we should work at, and it's something we should bring to the public. And that was one of the real reasons I was so delighted to be involved in the TED Med. Yeah. This is a chance as a scientist to share, not only here today, but on the internet, a lecture for the public. Well, I want you to know I, I bungee jumped, as did my son, right off that bridge of Victoria Falls. So I took a look at it, and I got shivers right down my spine. So all I can say is don't be showing that picture anymore. All Thank right. you very much.